All right. The title of this presentation, I thought of that while riding my bicycle, is a quote from Albert Einstein in reference to his theory of relativity. This talk is not just about biking, it's about the importance of moving people, some by bikes, some on foot, some by bus, and some in cars. This is a typical scene from an elementary school. This road was designed for cars and is a stressful place to walk or bike. Dependence on automobiles across the United States has led to traffic congestion, contributes to physical inactivity, poor health, and environmental problems. About a third of people in the United States don't drive. They are too young, too old, have a disability, can't afford it, or simply choose not to. Many people are walking and biking in our community despite the lack of safe routes. Notice footprints in the snow and a person biking in the top photo. Goat trails or desire lines show where people want to go in the bottom photos. These maps show the percent of adults in each state that are overweight or obese. In 1990, no state had more than 14%. By 2010, many states had over 30% overweight or obese populations. Walking or biking as part of one's daily routine can have a big impact on public health. MSU students, who will be future engineers, planners, and policymakers, need to see how our transportation networks could be safe and convenient for all people. This street is designed to move people, some by bike and some by bus. Notice the bike lane is wide enough for people to chat side by side. In the Netherlands, 26% of all trips are on bicycle. In Germany, it's about 20%, and in the United States, it's less than 1%. Though Bozeman is above average, of course, at about 6%. So we took a class of MSU students overseas to learn about bike, pedestrian, and transit transportation from those who do it best. We spent two weeks in the Netherlands and Germany and were amazed to see that lots of people bike of all ages, shapes, and abilities. Notice that people are dressed for their destination, work, school, or dinner. Here, we are more likely to see mammals on bikes, which is middle-aged men in Lycra. <laughs> <laughs> this word cloud is from a Dutch survey that asked the first word that came to mind when thinking about cycling. The bigger the word, the more often is mentioned. Notice that groceries is the biggest word. This shows how cycling is completely normal. Most Dutch people don't even think about it, they just do it. Bike parking is critical at our destinations. This is the top floor of a four-story bike parking garage in Amsterdam. Every train station in the Netherlands had thousands of bikes. The Dutch people have many innovative and efficient bike parking facilities. I could imagine some of these at MSU or perhaps downtown Bozeman. This university bike parking has a flowering roof, protecting bikes from sun, rain, and snow. Planners aim for at least one bike parking space per student and only half of a car parking space per student. Even though it was windy, rainy, and 40 degrees on our trip, people still biked, and somehow their hair and clothes looked fabulous. <laughs> In the Netherlands, they allocate space differently. Notice the wide bike and pedestrian lanes. For over 50 years in the United States, we've allocated space to move more cars faster. Highway engineering principles have been carried into our local streets at the expense of people walking, kids biking to school, or visiting friends. Here is one local example of reallocating space. This is Peach Street between North 7th and Rouse. We removed parking on the south side, shifted the road center line north, striped bike lanes on both sides. This was a low cost way to make Peach friendlier for bikes. Plus, the narrower traffic lanes tend to slow drivers down. The Dutch roll out the red carpet for bikes. Bike paths are literally red. Even when we got lost, we found low-stress bike routes separated from car traffic everywhere. We heard from several Dutch people that they're just lazy. They bike because it's the easiest way to get around. <laughs> <laughs> this used to be a wide intersection dominated by cars. Notice the potted plants. They allow space for people, but not cars. Notice the metal posts on the left side of the photo. They can be lowered to let buses, local drivers, and delivery vehicles through when needed. Business owners were nervous about limiting cars to city centers, but eventually they embraced it as their businesses thrived. Walking, biking, bus, and rail transportation are high priorities, not an afterthought. This bridge in Freiburg, Germany, was closed to cars, giving people a direct and 
low stress way into the city center. Bike facilities are not just for recreation. We saw many streets prioritized for biking and walking where cars are merely guests. We visited thriving marketplaces that used to be parking lots. We saw kids biking to school and soccer. They're not dependent on their parents for rides. If you don't see women biking with children, you know you haven't gotten it right. This is Candice, a planner at MSU, and my colleague Jenny on a path in Munster, Germany that is clearly delineated for bikes and pedestrians. It is possible for cities to grow and still keep streets narrow with lots of trees, which are a natural design feature that slows traffic, creating safe and pleasant places to walk and bike. Over 50% of all bikes sold in Europe are electric bikes. This is an e-bike charging station. These bikes make it more convenient to ride hills and longer distances, so there's no need to show up sweaty to work. You can learn more about Montana-specific issues from our advocacy group, Bike Walk Montana. We have 14 lanes in downtown Bozeman dedicated to cars. Some people are willing to bike in these lanes, but for most, it's too stressful. Is there an opportunity to reallocate space? How do we want our city streets to look in the future? This shows the amount of space needed to move people by car, bus, and bike. Bozeman is updating the city's transportation master plan now. You can stay apprised and let the city know your thoughts at bozemantmp.com. So now is a critical time for you to let city leaders know what you want in your town. Thank you.